What's up guys, Dr. Antonio Webb, orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. I get this question a lot, like, hey, Dr. Webb, what is the scariest part about doing your job as a spine surgeon? Well, the scariest parts are actually just working around the spinal cord when patients have severe compression of their spinal cord. We have to make really delicate and precise movements when working around the spinal cord. Because if you push too hard on the spinal cord or apply too much pressure, or if the operating window, the area where we're working at, something falls in that area, which can happen in surgery, then the patient can become paralyzed. So we use neuromonitoring during these times. These are wires, leads that are hooked up to various parts of your body. And there's a neurologist that watches the whole surgery. So we constantly communicate. There's a neuromonitoring technician that is in the room for these surgeries, these really complex surgeries and they'll let me know if there's any issues, any changes to the, what's called neuromonitoring um, uh, during surgery. So if there's any irritation of the nerves or the spinal cord, we communicate. So if there's too much pressure being applied to the spinal cord, or if there's a change in the neuromonitoring, let's say the neuromonitoring technician, hey, Dr. Webb, we've lost all signals in the lower extremities, which means, is this patient paralyzed? Back in the day, we would wake these patients up and in the middle of surgery and see if they can move their arms or legs. Well, with the, with the advancements of modern technology, we're able to use the, the neuromonitoring and make decisions in surgery about whether this patient's getting perfusion, we give them more fluids, we check all the leads, we can reverse whatever we did. If I put a large cage into the spine, I can take that out and see if that changes the neuromonitoring. But the scariest parts is actually just, um, you know, that first couple of minutes after surgery, uh, you're, you did a really complex surgery about around someone's spinal cord and you're just waiting till they wake up and see if they can move their legs. Unfortunately, you know, I have had a patient in my training who we woke up from surgery and he couldn't move his legs. And we had to immediately take that patient back to surgery to correct that problem. So it can happen, very scary times. This is where your sphincter is really tight in surgery and just your, 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 um, these movements have to be very precise and, and, and very delicate during surgery so that you don't cause any harm. Um, and this is one of the scariest parts about being a spine surgery is just waiting to wake up a patient from surgery and making sure that they can move their arms and legs.